find the HCF and LCM of 2800 and 3528. See, now there can be different ways to find their HCF and LCM. You can actually write down their factors and then find their HCF. And you can also write their multiples and then find their LCM. But since these numbers are relatively bigger, we'll use prime factorization. We'll first prime factorize them and then find their HCF and LCM. So let's start by prime factorizing 2800 first. See, the process of finding their HCF and LCM would exactly be the same as finding the HCF and LCM of two smaller numbers, how we used to do that using prime factorization. So you can just pause the video here and try that on your own. As of now, let's start by prime factorizing 2800. 2800 on dividing this by 2, we would get 1400. See, this prime factorization would take some time. And if you already know how to do this, you can just do this on your own and directly jump to that part of the video where we directly calculate HCF and LCM using the prime factorized form of the given numbers. Now coming back to this, 1400 divided by 2 would again give us 700. 700 divided by 2 would give us 350. 350 divided by 2 would give us 175. Now this number is divisible by 5, so we can divide this by 5, 5 3s are 15, 5 5s are 25. Now this number is again divisible by 5, so we would get a 7 and then 7 times 1 is 7. So this is how we would prime factorize this. So 2800 can be written as 2 to the power 4 times 5 square times 7. Similarly, now let's prime factorize 3528. 3528. So how would this look like? 3528. Since this is an even number, we can start with 2. So this would give us 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 14, 2 6s are 12 and 2 4s are 8. 1764. Again an even number, we can divide this by 2. So we would have 2 8s are 16, again 2 8s are 16, 2 2s are 4, 882. Let's divide this by 2 again. So we would have 441. Now the sum of digits of this number is divisible by 3. So this number would be divisible by 3. So let's divide this by 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12 and 3 7s are 21. Again the sum of digits is divisible by 3. So we can divide this by 3. So 3 4s are 12 and 3 9s are 27. 49 divisible by 7. So we would have 7 7s are 49. And 7 divided by 7 would give us 1. So the prime factorization of 3528 would be 2 to the power 3 times 3 square times 7 square. Now let's see how we can find the HCF first. Let me use some different color. Let's find the HCF first, HCF. Now in order to find the HCF, we would pick common prime factors along with their smallest available powers. For example, in this case, the common prime factors are 2, 3 is not common because 3 is only available in 3528, similarly 5 isn't common. So we would pick 7 because 7 is the common factor again. And then we need to pick them with their smallest available powers. In case of 2, it is 3. And in case of 7, it is 1. Now finally, to get the HCF, we would multiply them. So 2 to the power 3 is 8. 8 times 7 would give us 56. So the highest common factor for these two numbers is 56. Now let's try finding their LCM. So LCM, in LCM we have to pick all available prime factors with their highest available powers. In this case, the available prime factors are 2, 3, 5 and 7. And we need to pick them with their highest powers available. In case of 2, it is 4. In case of 3, it is 2. In case of 5, it is again 2. 
though 5 is just available in 2800. But since this is the available prime factor, we would pick along with its power available. So 5 to the power 2 and similarly the highest available power of 7 is again 2. So 7 to the power 2. And finally to get their LCM, we would multiply them. So this value here, this big giant value here would give us the LCM of these two numbers. You can calculate this and get the LCM, but that was not the whole point. The point was to get to this value. And if you want to know more like why this works, you can watch the earlier videos of this lesson in which we have explained why do we pick smallest available powers in case of HCF and highest available powers in case of LCM.